Ken, we did it. We did it. We're back. I'm back. Did it. I'm back. Josh Makoga is back to Josh Birdie. Josh Birdie is back. Uh, I have a daughter now, and so this game, the stakes have gone through the roof, Ken. Right. Uh, she doesn't know that that I'm I'm competing as a host. What I don't know. Yeah. Competing as a host? Is that, is that you're how competing that works? with the rest of the world to be yes. the best game show host? Correct. It's Thank you, you and Couric. <laughs> Katie Couric has put on a show this weekend on Jeopardy. This week on Jeopardy, uh, it can only get better from here. Just keep Katie Couric in the seat. If, if it's not going to be me, Ken, it's got to be Couric. I, I'm I'm there. I'm good with that. Yeah. This is Josh Brady, the fastest game show on the internet. We've got uh, Joe Prano and Matt Nose in the house. Joe versus the Volcanoest. <laughs> You went with it. <laughs> Come on, Ken. You went as with it. As much as you tried to make the thumbnail not that, it came through. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever called him the Volcanoist, but I'm really excited to get his reaction on it. Uh, we appreciate all of you chiming in from the chat here on a Friday. I know it's uh, sometimes late in the evening, middle of the night, wherever you are. Friday nights are busy, and I appreciate you guys taking the time. And I also appreciate the fine people at New Holland Distillery for their beer barrel bourbon. Uh our buddy, Matt the Beard Man, sent us some of this. Little did they know that New Holland would become the official sponsor of Josh Pretty. Did they approve of that? No, they didn't. But guess what? We're drinking it anyway, and it's absolutely delicious. All right. Ken, how are you feeling? That's good beer. Ooh, it's good. It's, it's feeling... really good bourbon. It's fantastic. Good, Josh. Uh, we had some the other night that uh, I feel bad for having just water right now, but we're excited. This is going to be a fun show tonight. Heck yeah. All right, let's bring in our two contestants. They've been waiting patiently in the green room. Uh, this is the first time they're meeting, but I feel like this is a rivalry that could go on for generations, yeah. uh, depending on how tonight's game goes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he is the pride of New York. He's got a mustache only a mother could love and the rest of the world. He's the reason they started Movember all those years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Prano and Matt Nose. You know him from Settle the Score. Let's bring him in. Matt Nose, Joe Prano. Let's hear it for him. Gentlemen, how we doing? Thanks for having me. Boys? Boys? Great to be here. (laughs) Great to be here. Your energy, both of your energies are infectious. (laughs) <laughs> I'm excited to find out that's Joe versus the Volcanoist. As I was reading it, I was like, Joe versus Vulcan Conus? I was like, what is, what is this? And now I know how it was meant to sound. Boom. Uh, Matt, and how do you... there is a rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, how do you feel about your new nickname being the Volcanoist? Uh, it is infinitely better than about 50 other nicknames that have been given to me over the years. So let's go with Volcanoes. I'm perfectly fine with boom, it. Boom, boom. And uh, Joe, you're the Tom Hanks in today's uh, iteration of Josh Brady, so you're welcome. I'm honored. <laughs> All right, Ken, let's get some intros. Let's hear it for our competitors. In one corner, we have the co-host of the Dirty Sports Podcast. He was a career 268 hitter with the best mustache this side of Keith Hernandez. He was known for his ability to lay down a bunt with two strikes and a runner on third. Please welcome the man who wants you to fix your life, Joe Prado. Woo! Joseph. On the other side, whether he's dropping dimes or dropping jokes, he don't care what you think about him. He just wants you to buy some pizza. And if you got a joke about he and his wife's successful pizza restaurant, he'll just walk over you on the way to the bank to deposit that money. <laughs> it is Matt Volcanoes. <laughs> oh, he put it in there. As much as he hated that pun, he put it in there, Matt. I am I am apparently the callous cold capitalist in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck go, you and your dead body. We got to have money. a villain. We got to have a villain in trivia. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> We've learned that over the years. Of course. Come on. There's a there's a whatever in a heel. What's the first called? Uh, face? Uh, baby face. face baby face and a heel. Joe definitely has. Yeah, look at he's that got face. Look at that. That's I the mean, best. Can I ask Joe? Yeah, go ahead, Ken. Take when it. was the first time you knew you had that going? Like, when When in seventh grade, you're like, holy crap, I got, a, I got an upper lip to grow this on. I wish that were the case. I was a very late bloomer. I don't think I had facial hair until I was in college. Wow. And then post, post-college, rocked the beard a lot, yeah. living in Brooklyn, you Ooh, know, yeah. doing the hipster beard thing. And one day, while shaving, I just took off the bottom part and was like, hey, I think this works. I love and uh, I love the, it. The response was immediate. And I've I've had it for the majority of time ever since. I oh, am goodness. a big fan. Love it. Love it. Love it. The the thing about it is that uh, I saw Sam Elliott in an airport 
and it's and it's a nice mustache. But mm. Joe's is it covers more surface area. Mm. It's got more of a presence. <laughs> it, it. I saw Sam Elliott at uh, the the Malibu Shopping Center one day, <laughs> and our mustaches eyes locked, <laughs> and he just kind of he just kind of gave me the cowboy <laughs> hat tip. Like the Virgil, Jeep wave like, the, yeah, yeah. the Jeep wave, <laughs> like it's Virgil. Like, I'm, I'm also here for a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! And That's Matt, cool. who can maybe grow a chin beard? How do you feel about the mustache? I, I, I can't grow sideburns. So no, I'm grow an actual beard. <laughs> yeah, I am fucking fully impressed. The rest of it grows nice and full. Mm. But the problem with my mustache is it starts to curl and turns yeah. redder and redder and Ooh. redder, and I don't know why. The so it stash. looks fucking terrible, so yeah. I never grow it. I feel like I feel like I mean, here's the thing: is mm. I can grow a mustache. It doesn't have the same uh, gravitas, if you will, mm. uh, as a Joe Prano. But I, I, when I did grow it, I threw like some dye in it to thicken it up, and then all of a sudden it just didn't match the rest of my hair. And I was like, you got to, <laughs> you got to shave that. You look <laughs> stupid. And I was like, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. Joe's mustache looks like it's walking a beat somewhere. Yeah, yeah. it really does. It really, <laughs> really does. Uh, Joe, I'm sure you're tired of the mustache jokes by now, so let's get into Josh Brady. This is Joe versus the Volcanoes. Five rounds of high, intense, fast-paced trivia that make very little sense because it's all up in my head. The first round is general trivia. Gentlemen, are you ready? We will alternate questions. If you get it wrong, your opponent can steal, okay? Based right. solely on his mustache, Joe... Prano will go first. But before we get in there, we have to go to our sponsor, New Holland Distillery's Beer Barrel Bourbon. Josh Brady loves Beer Barrel Bourbon. You're talking about bourbon in a beer barrel? Yep, barrel. <laughs> the sweet taste of bourbon finished in oak beer barrels. It's the hollow notes of bourbons. You make my dreams come true. Uh, the more I drink this, the more chances I'm going to have of maybe getting my wife to have a second child. I don't want what one, but else? I'm kidding. I'm oh. kidding. All right, here we go. Boom. Question one. General trivia. Joe Prano. Question one. Here we go. Joe Montana played quarterback at Ringgold High School outside of this city. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Correct. Give Joe the points. Boom. He knows me a little too well. Question two to Matt Nost. Joe Montana was in 271 episodes of this procedural crime drama. Oh, what was that dog shit show? <laughs> Uh, criminal Minds? That is correct. Give him the wow. points. Question three to Joe Prano. Joe Montana was voted to how many Pro Bowls? I'll give you plus or minus one. He's counting. Eight. Eight is the correct answer wow. on the button. On wow. the button. That is great. Question four to Matt Nose. Joe Montana has voiced <laughs> this Simpsons character in 37 episodes. Yeah. Uh, Fat Tony. That's correct. Give him the points. Wow. Score is two to two. Question five to Joe Prano. Joe Prano. Joe Montana won a national championship in this year for Notre Dame. 1979. Oh, very close. Matt Nost. Ugh. You can steal. Yeah, it's going to be a blind guess. 1980. Ooh, we were looking for 1977. No points Ooh. awarded. We'll go back to Matt Nost. Joe Montana was in which Godfather movie? Uh, Godfather 3. That is correct. Wow. Give him the points. Back to Joe Prano. Joe Montana won how many playoff games with the Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> One. Ooh, incorrect. Matt Nost. Fuck. <laughs> I'll say two. Two is the correct wow. answer. He wow. won two. He beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, and then I believe he beat the Raiders and then lost to the Buffalo Bills in an AFC championship game. Uh, <laughs> Matt Nost, Joe Montana has been nominated for how many Golden Globes? Uh, Golden Globes. No fucking clue. I literally have expended all my Joe Montana trivia knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> this is disturbing how much I already know. I'll say... Four. Oh, incorrect. Joe Prano for the steal. Zero. Oh, the correct answer we're looking for. One for oh, the last one. Don. Oh, for the last Don. Okay, Joe Prano, here we go. Joe Montana won four Super Bowls, but how many Super Bowl MVPs did he win? Three. Three is the correct answer. Give him the points. And finally, Matt Nost. Colt Nost recently retired from what professional sport? Oh shit. Uh 
Last name spelled the exact same way. I know, and that's it's actually crept into my world before. <laughs> Somebody sent me something once, and now I'm trying to remember. In three. I, I want to say fishing. Ooh, incorrect. Joe Prano for the steal. Baseball? Ty- Oh, incorrect. We're looking for golf. He was a golfer, oh. now a commentator on the Golf Channel, host of the Subpar Podcast. Okay, after round one, Matt Nose, four points. Joe Prano, three points. It's four to three as we head in to the second round, a first ever round. We're calling Ken the Punderdome. The Punderdome. The Punderdome. My favorite jokes that most people hate. That's puns. All right, oh. before we get into that, Josh Purdy is brought to you by New Hauling Brewing Company's Light Point. Functional White Ale. Functional White Ale. It's brewed with coconut water, raw honey, and orange peels, and at only 3.7 alcohol by volume, you can drink all day and still make dinner with your wife's family. Is that good? We have no idea. And by Beer Barrel Bourbon. Whoa, this stuff tastes just like how it sounds. Beer and bourbon together in one? Yep, it's like Pert Plus. Shampoo and conditioner, but bourbon. God, I hope they like these advertisements. All right, let's do it. Welcome to the Punderdome. We started with Joe last round. Matt, you're currently in the lead. Currently in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Um, we can steal in this round, right? You can steal. And then it's directed at us first. Uh, I don't, I, I'll go second since I don't know how the questions second. are going to actually be Here ordered. we go. <laughs> All right. Joe Prano, your first question. I'm looking for a pun answer in all of these questions, okay? Okay. Question one. It's Jurassic Park, but instead of dinosaurs, it's heart surgeons. Thoracic Park? That is correct. Give them the points. It's a hell of a (laughs) pun, if I may so say so myself. All right. Matt Nost, question two. It's a fake or false donut. It's a fake or false donut? That's correct. <laughs> the look of someone trying to understand puns. <laughs> a, In, oh, a no nut? Oh, incorrect. Joe Prano for the steal. It's a phone nut? That is correct. <laughs> Give him a phone nut. Give him the phone nut. All right, question three. Joe Prano, Godzilla, but he never skips leg day. Quadzilla. That is correct. Give him the points. <laughs> Matt Nose, we go to you. Question four. It's a shrink with scissors and a blow dryer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. In three, two, one. No clue. No clue. Joe Prano for the steal. It's a psych. Stylist? Oh. I, no <laughs> I would have accepted a style chiatrist, but I was looking for a therapist. A therapist. A therapist. Okay. okay. Question five goes to Matt Nost. Or sorry, question five goes to Joe Prano. It's a ghostly Andrew Lloyd Webber musical starring a custodian cleaning floors. No idea. The <laughs> musicals. C- couldn't even begin to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Matt knows for the steal. Can you repeat it? Sure. It's a ghostly Andrew, L- Andrew Lloyd Webber musical starring a custodian cleaning floors. A, f- a fucking Phantom of the Gen- Janitor? Ooh. No <laughs> We're looking for the Phantom of the Mopera. The Phantom of the oh, Mopera. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Matt knows. Question six, the Miami baseball team, but they play their games at a local watering hole. <laughs> the Punderdom is quite the conundrum. It's claiming It's victims. a punundrum. <laughs> it's claiming victim. <laughs> a conundrum. <laughs> Three, two, one. The devil bays. Ooh, man, Joe Prano for the steal. It's the Miami Barland. That is correct. <laughs> Give them the points. Give them the points. Uh, no Let's go. Wrong franchise. Wrong sports, franchise. not musical. Sports, okay. not musical. Here we go. Question seven for Joe Prano. Be- Beyonce's nickname and this sweet, sweet boxer had a kid and named her this. Beyonce's nickname. <laughs> There's a <laughs> A lot to There's a lot to unpack. 
Leonard. Boom, he got oh. it. Sugar Bay Leonard. Sugar Bay Leonard. Current score eight to four. Apparently the pun round is a has been tough on Matt Nost. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Question eight to Matt Nost. Doing this to moles at an arcade, but you're in an Integra or a Maxima. In an Tegra or a Maxima. Oh wait, that's not right. <laughs> oh no! Don't don't it, <laughs> Maxima is not made by this. Not the Maxima. Okay, just the Integra. <laughs> just the Integra. Just, you can only be in an Integra. <laughs> only be in an yeah. Integra. Did not. I was like, oh man, crap. All right, all right. Doing this to moles at an arcade from a Integra. Oh, yeah, that cleared it up. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. In three, two, one. Whack a Nissan. No Ooh. fucking clue. Uh, Joe Prano? I don't know the wording you're looking for here, but Wacura? That is correct. Oh, Wacura. Oh, no. Wacura. He got it. <laughs> that man can see my puns from a mile away. Here we go. Joe Prano, question nine. This E equals MC squared scientist complains about everything. <laughs> Complains about everything. Yep. Uh, Albert Einstein? <laughs> I don't know. Incorrect. <laughs> Matt knows for the steal. Thanks you need you. the points. You need the points. Oh, of course I need the points, but <laughs> I also need, apparently need to be a father to understand. <laughs> <laughs> or you so have to love puns. Six of these, so, uh, but complains about everything? Yeah. No, I no clue. Oh, we were looking for Albert Weinstein. Albert mm. Weinstein. He's a real whiner. Okay. All right, and finally, question ten to Matt Nost. A speedy blue hedgehog and Dr. Dre finally got finally collaborated on an album and called it this. Uh, well, well, the Sonic or the Sonic <clears throat> two thousand and one, but <laughs> the Sonic is I don't know. I, you know what? I, I see. I see the flip of it. I was looking for Chronic the Hedgehog, but you know what? I'm going to give you the points anyway because I could see oh, the hey, pun. pity points on a pun. Pity All points right, on fantastic. a pun. All right. Yep. It, the current score eight to five as we go into round three. Before we do, Josh Brady is brought to you by New Holland Brewing Company's Dragon Milk Bourbon Barrel <laughs> Age Stout. It sits in bourbon barrels for a minimum of ninety days, and it. An 11% alcohol by volume. When you're done drinking it, you may think dragons are real. Legitimately, this stuff is delicious, and it it could end your night, but it's amazing. So go slow with it. It's amazing. All right. It I'm sounds sure the- great. <laughs> now, I just So they're brewing their bourbon and beer barrels and their beer and bourbon barrels? Correct. It's the flip. It's the whole flip, Joe. You never whole, knew it was possible. It's a pun brewery. It, yeah. That's why they're sponsoring the show, unbeknownst to them. And by Dragon Milk's Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout. Yep, the same sponsor twice, because I drank so much of it, I didn't know if I read the last sponsor. Ken, have you had the Bourbon Barrel Stout? Oh, man, it is the best. I had a big sip of that and tasted like I was in a barrel on a ship for months going across country in the ocean. Mm, dragon's Milk. All right. Round three, we're calling this Josh Libs. Now listen, no stealing in this round, boys. This is all based on my opinion. I'm going to give you, it's a fill in the blank, and you give me your best answer, and I either give you the points or I don't. This is all arbitrary. Are you ready? (laughs) I feel like it's going to be very close after this round. Very close. (laughs) All right, here we go. Question one, uh, we're going to start with uh, Matt, because he's in the uh, trailing here to Joe. Um, Matt, question one. Doritos are blank to your fingers. Doritos are blank to your fingers. Um, concrete? Yeah, I'll give you that. It's very hard to get off your fingers. Like, that Dorito Cheetle is, like, for real. Like, you can't do that. All right, Joe, question two. Shares, do you believe in life after love is blank? Is legendary. Thank you, sir. I mean, just what a song. Woman has a voice, and they add that auto tune in there. My goodness. All right. Question three. Should have saved this one for Joe, but we're going to go to Matt with this one. Sam Elliott without a mustache is like blank without cheese. It's 
like blank without cheese. <laughs> you can do multiple words, too. You can whatever you want to do. <laughs> so again, uh, this is all arbitrary, Matt. There's no thinking yeah, needed. There's no thinking needed. <laughs> trying to think of anything good, though, to pair with cheese. All I'm coming up with is a rat. A rat without cheese. Ken, we're going to the judges. I think I accept that. I, that let's give a, it to him. Give him the points. A rat like without cheese. The second act sure. of a Disney movie. Boom. Come on, Ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question four to Joe Prano. If you could bend it like Beckham, you'd bend blank. Time. Wow. What an answer. Holy cow, Doc. Take it easy over there, Marty. <laughs> All right. Question My first answer is <laughs> way worse, so I'm glad I went with time. <laughs> Question five to Matt Nose. Little Caesars, $5 hot and ready, should be consumed blank. On the toilet. Oh, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> our second sponsor tonight, Little Caesars, $5 hot and ready. If you're on a toilet, you're in luck. All right. Question six to Joe Prano. Joe, using your car horn in standstill traffic would be considered blank. Hot and ready. What a callback. Give it to him. Listen, I would have accepted many different answers. Useless, <laughs> hot and ready, also maybe effective. We're not really sure. Question seven to Matt Nost. My wife won't let me astroturf our home because blank. Uh, we don't want rug burns. Oh, I, I, you know, I would have accepted it doesn't go well with the interior, but I also like... We don't want rug burns. I, I appreciate that. All right, question eight to Joe Prano. Oprah's interview with Harry and Meghan blanked the world last weekend. But bored. <laughs> just, just don't give me the points. I don't even want them. <laughs> he's, Please don't give me the points. I insist that you not give me a point for that. Thank you. I will be moving on to the next one. <laughs> the no points, the first ever no points awarded in the history of Josh Lives, uh, brought to you by New Holland Distillery's Beer Barrel <laughs> Bourbon. When you can't think of anything, drink a beer barrel mm. bourbon. All right. Mm. Question nine to Matt Nost. Question nine, Matt. Your child tells you they, they're a street performer. You tell them blank. <laughs> to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be a better society, Matt, but... I, I realize, but street performance is one of the lowest quote-unquote art forms. It's... Ken, do we give them the points? No busking in Matt Nose world. <laughs> no, You're no. done. Matt, if they were a street performer, what would you hope they'd be? A mime or a juggler? Uh, those are the only two options? That's the only two options. With? Everybody knows that. Yeah. I, I guess mime, because at least Robin Williams was a mime at one point, so there's something. All right, I'll give you for. mime. I'll give you mime. That's the only way I was giving you the points there. Currently, 12 uh, to 10, Joe over Matt. All right, uh, the final question in Josh Libs. Here we go. Joe, <clears throat> Owen Wilson is a blank actor. Owen Wilson is a living actor. <laughs> <laughs> that's the be that's the best compliment I can give Owen Wilson. That's as far as I'll yep. stretch it. Yep. <laughs> mm. Mm. I would have accepted alive. I would have accepted <laughs> yeah. okay. I would have accepted <laughs> an actor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We're, as we go into round four, the rapid fire round, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor, Dragon Milk's White Bourbon Barrel Aged White Stout. It's only 6% alcohol by volume, so if you drank in all the 11% alcohol and you want to actually, you know, talk to people later, try the 6% alcohol. It's delicious, and uh, it tastes a lot like the original. Ah, that's really good. Listen, I don't drink a lot of beer, but if you put a dragon on it, by all means, my drink is. Do you think we're going to get sponsored by New Holland? What do you think? Uh, keep drinking. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Question, f uh, here we go, round four. As I've had beers and bourbons uh, here on a Friday afternoon. Bourbon. Currently, your score, Joe Prano, 13. Matt Nost, the Volcanoes, 10. Mm -hmm. Still anybody's game. This is the rapid fire round. <laughs> We're going to start with Matt Nost. Question one, Siegfried or Roy? Uh, whichever did get mauled by the tiger. I don't know which one that is. So I'll say Siegfried. Ooh, we we're looking for Roy. Roy. Okay. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Pretty sure Roy got mauled by the tiger. I'm not sure which one did. I uh, believe it was Roy. I think okay. Siegfried's the right answer, in my opinion. But, you know. 
listen. It's their show. I don't <laughs> I don't write the answers. I just write the questions. Okay. Uh question two to Joe Prano. Millie or vanilli? Vanilli. That is correct. No doubt. Give him the points. Uh, it's a shame that Baskin Robbins never did a vanilli ice cream. Okay. Um, question three to Matt Nost. Hall or Oats? Uh, come on, Daryl Hall. That's correct. Give mm. him the points. Question four oh. to Joe Prano. Simon or Garfunkel? Simon. That question's offensive. <laughs> correct. Fifteen. <laughs> there goes uh, Simon. Simon. Question five to Matt Nost. In a callback, Sonny or Cher? Is Cher. That is correct. Give him the points. Yeah. Question six. Ed Harris or Neil Patrick Harris to Joe Prano? Ed Harris. That is correct. Give him the points. Uh, question seven to Matt Nost. Mini golf or putt putt? Uh, putt putt. That is correct. Give him the points. Ooh, Question ooh, wow. eight to Joe Prano: wow. Jack Lemon or Lemony Snickets? It's close. They look so similar. I'm going Jack Lemon. That is correct. Is there, is there, is there, listen, in the history of acting in Hollywood, it goes Jack Lemon and just about everybody else. Uh, it's like, <laughs> hey, did you need somebody in your movie between the years of 1955 and 1980? You got Jack Lemon. Okay, that was the answer. There was nobody else. Ken, am I right? I, you could have got Lee Marvin, I guess. He, our friend Lee Marvin, a <laughs> uh, friend of the show. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, and uh, uh, Levin, great. He's Jack, got the Glen Gary leads. He does. He's got them all. Josh, you look yeah. so good for a 61-year-old man, apparently. <laughs> Just the world's biggest Jack Lemon fan. I'm so and excited. somebody who has openly stated he won't watch movies before, what, 1975? Yeah, if they're so black and white, I'm just, not watching them. But it's like a five-year span of Jack Lemon that you really give love. Give me Jack Lemon. <laughs> give me all day Lemon. Okay, here we go. Uh, question, question nine to Matt Nose: Nicole Kidman or Kid Rock? <laughs> Nicole Kidman. Why that, is that a choice? That's correct. That's why correct. Is that's that correct. A choice? That's correct. I uh, like the bow with the bow just as much as anybody. Uh, uh, all right, and finally to <laughs> Joe Brano: Caribbean or Caribbean? Caribbean. Wow. Talk about a round. Give the points to Joe Prano. I mean, what a round. You guys, you guys are picking my brain way too well. Current score is Joe Prano, 18. Matt Nost, 14. Now, listen, we're going into the true or false round, and Matt needs a huge, huge round here. Just He needs a big one. Uh, but before we go into that, let's hit our sponsor. It's brought to you by Beer Barrel Bourbon. Beer, good. Bourbon, good. Sorry, let's try that again. <laughs> Josh Purdy is brought to you by Beer Barrel Bourbon. Bourbon? Good. Beer? Good. Barrels? Good. All right. This is a true or false round. Gentlemen, again, alternating questions. True or false based on my opinion and my opinion alone. We are going to start with Matt Nost. Again, currently the score I like that, 18 to I like 14. that you took that sponsor again as if they're paying you A <laughs> and B. They're going to be watching this for quality control, being like, I, I appreciate that he went back. They're like, it's barrel before bourbon. What yeah. are you doing? You stupid idiot. <laughs> Who are we paying? All right, here we go. True or false for Matt Nost. True or false, buying curtains on a weekend feels like an all-time low. Eh, true. Yeah, give it to him. Okay. I like listen, if my wife brings up curtains one more time, I'll lose my mind. It's, it's just it's cloth <laughs> hanging over a window. You go ahead, buy it. I don't need to be there to buy it. You just buy it. Put it up. We'll have somebody. I don't care. All right, sorry for yelling. All right. Question I feel two. Like this is Josh Josh Therpy or jo therapy. Oh, that's a good pun there. right there. Come on, Matt. You didn't oh, do too well in the pun. Thunderdome, but yeah, you got yeah, the, yeah. you came back. Three rounds too late. I think that's a loose interpretation of the word pun. <laughs> Come on. Brought to you by Beer Barrel Bourbon. Matt on the comeback. <laughs> Come on. All right. Question two to Joe Prano. True or false? The space needle is kind of confusing. True. Wow. I was looking for false. It, I mean, it makes no sense, but I wouldn't say it's confusing. I wouldn't say it's confusing. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Question three to Matt Nose. Question three to Matt Nose. Pepperoni on pizza is fine. Okay, but the intonation of fine. I, listen, I don't you don't best anything on my intonation because I, I may have just tricked Joe Prano with the confusing there on the Space Needle. So uh, it's fine. I'll say false. That's correct. I mean, pepperoni on pizza. It's, it's freaking fantastic. Come on. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. All right. 
Listen, it's 1816. <laughs> Joe, Joe Prano was like, wait, am I, is this being fixed? Am I, is the fix in? Is the fix, is it my, is my mustache being fixed? Okay. It's like true and false on like a high school, you know, science. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so they're all true? Yep. They're all false? <laughs> all right, question four to Joe Prano. True or false? Surfing looks awesome, but in actuality is impossible. False. Oh, that's true. Have you ever tried to surf? I surf regularly. Do you really? Yeah, and I, I am. I'm not a great athlete, but I get it done. <laughs> wow, so impossible is, is is certainly too much. Damn, I, I listen for, as somebody that's tried to get up on that board many a time, and who can skateboard and snowboard, and I cannot surf, and it's really it, it upsets me every day that I live in California. All right, <clears throat> ah, so it's currently 1816. Now, now the game's getting tight. Now, now Josh Brady is really hitting it. Yeah. I'm starting to sweat, <laughs> yeah. and I'll tell you what, the sweats are brought to you by Beer Barrel Bourbon. You guys ever sweated so much during a, hosting a game show and blamed it on an alcohol? You're welcome. Beer barrel bourbon. It's delicious. Okay. Question five to Matt Nost. True or false, American Psycho is the most overrated movie of all time? Uh, I, I feel like this is loaded, so I'll say true. <laughs> That's true. It's very, very true. I was going to say secondly with uh, The Big Lebowski. I was going to say it was good, the second most overrated movie of all time. But giving you American wow. Psycho, that movie makes no sense. I don't wow. know why people like it. It's ridiculous. Wow. Okay. Wow. Question six to Joe Prano. <sighs> if he gets this one wrong and Matt gets the next one wrong, we are, we are in some d- deep territory here. Okay. Uh, question seven. Qu- sorry, question six. True or false, Joe? When a celebrity answers an email with, let me check with my team. A piece of you dies inside. True. That's very, that's so true. It, mm-hmm. I don't, who has, unless you're, unless you're again, Keith Hernandez. Right. Yeah. All right. Question seven to Matt Nost. True or false? True or false? Boston is the greatest band named after a city. Mm. Mm. Uh, I mean, you can make a case, I guess, for Chicago, but I'll say true. That's true. I was going to say close second, Chicago. Chicago, a close second. All right. Apparently, there's no New Radicals, Pennsylvania. (laughs) 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 Oh, that's great. I mean, let's be honest. If I started a cover band right now, we'd just be called Pittsburgh and and just play Boston songs. All right. Yeah, get what you give. You you wouldn't be... Beer barrel bourbon and just uh, <laughs> we're called Between Dragon Milk's barrel, Bourbon good. Barrel Aged Stout, eleven yeah. percent alcohol by volume. Don't you dare uh, try and call an ex-girlfriend; it won't go well. Yeah, yeah. This next song is called "I Almost Punched My Daughter." <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Milk Barrel Aged Stout. Dragons are real from the nipples of the milk. All right, okay, here we go. Question, uh, what do we got? Eight here. The Question milk. eight. Question eight. The nipples of the milk? I, that was a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring that back. Let's bring that back. Dragon's nipples. They make milk. What's Beautiful. Happening? What's happening? <laughs> Come on. Keep, keep going. You got, keep Ken, going. Ken's keep over there going. in the corner like we just lost a sponsor. We lost a sponsor. We lost a sponsor. We, sponsor. we did Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, All right. man. All right. Great. Question eight. To uh, Joe Prano, ironing your own clothes is very difficult. True or false? Mm. It's true for me, so I'm going to say true. Mm. true. That is true. Mm. That is very mm. true. Uh, mm. Thus ending the game, but we have two more, so let's do them. Okay. Mm. Congratulations, Joe, on your victory. We'll oh, celebrate after you. two. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Matt, yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, we don't give belts here. We're not. Although, he, I mean, he did get an extra question in one round, just so you know. Did he? Yes, Bro, he did. Yeah. Probably. Did I miss I that? Don't, I don't, I don't Beer know. barrel bourbon. <laughs> Joe got extra <laughs> questions. All right. Here we go. That's the winner. True or false. True or false. Matt, rarely have you met someone named Brandon you like. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'm going to say false. I've only met like two or three and I like them. Yeah. So. I was going to say Brandon or Brendan. Pretty good guys. Pretty good yeah. dudes. Yeah. So not bad. Okay. Question 10 to Joe Prano. Here we go. True or false? Mickey and Minnie have ulterior motives. True or false? <laughs> Mickey and Minnie. I don't know what their main motive is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mickey Pull and the lid off of it, Joe. What is true. it? Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> yeah. What are those mice up to? Okay? You always look so happy. You got a big smile on your face. What are you doing? We don't trust you. Okay? Uh, happiest place on earth. I disagree. 
All right. I'm give glad him a- I got that one right, so there's no controversy. <laughs> Correct. No, it was the final score. Joe Prano, 21. Matt Nos, 19. <laughs> a hell of a game of Josh Breed. Right, Gentlemen, right. thank you so much for being here. Matt, I apologize if the Punderdome sent you for uh, – that might, might give you night terrors later. I apologize. Uh, that's all right. You know, it just gives me, before my next appearance, whatever that may be, more time to get in the headspace of mm. a Josh McCuga. Mm. See? That's the, the thing about Josh Brady is it's not about your brains. It's just about the answers. Okay. Mm. It's you got to get up here before you get in there. I don't know. All right. Exactly. We tried. It's you, like you, a dragon's nipple. Uh, <laughs> it's like a dragon's nipple. Hey, Joe, mm-hmm. uh, you got about 30 seconds. Why mm. don't you, as a victor, why don't you just give the people what they want? Tell them everything. I just, uh, I don't remember seeing the, the Tom Hanks film. And whether or not he beat the Vulcan Conacost, but uh, <laughs> I, you know I'm happy to have prevailed here. And uh, if you like my pun uh, understandings, uh, understanding check out the Dirty Sports Podcast. Understanding, yes, 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 yes. Understandings. Yes, that's right. There you go. Dirty Sports Podcast. Uh, you guys, our buddy Tug Coker. We got inter- uh, inter- interviewed. What? We got introduced via our buddy Doug Coker. Played a hell of an 18 holes with a random dude. Remember that random guy we got paired with? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just an older. He was he was clearly an international spy. Yes. He had lived in every third world country that yeah. we have placed a dictator in. By like the 12th <laughs> hole, he was like, "Yeah, I spent a couple years in Iran, then headed on to Lebanon." And we're like, "Wait, yeah, what?" That's clearly false. Or you're okay. Never mind. Uh, Joe, thanks for being on the show, buddy. Uh, check out the Dirty Sports podcast. Matt, you got 10 seconds to tell people anything. Oh, he gets 30, I get 10, I just wasted five. Uh, check out Settle the Score or uh, Dropping Dimes with the Top 10. Those are the shows that I do. Matt Nost, Joe Prano, Joe versus the Volcanoes. Here on Josh Brady, gentlemen, you're the best. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks. All right. All right. Ken, how are you feeling? I've, I think that went it's swimmingly well, <laughs> especially if you're a Dragon Nipple fan. Uh, you get to hear that phrase many times tonight. And uh, I think the punter done went very well. You think so? Joe was clued in. Yeah. Nose was like me. You just you run through options you just don't know exist. Yeah. 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 I think that's my pun That's my pun brain that, yeah. that goes with it. I want to thank everybody in chat. Thanks for being there. If you guys are founders or Bucket Club members, head on over to the Discord. Uh, there's a Josh Brady in there. If you guys have a category idea or anything for Josh Brady that we can throw in here, we'll do it. Okay? We'll do it. It's Friday. Uh, I'm thinking that... Next Friday, mm-hmm. which is Hunk vs. Heather in the, in the battle for love. Uh, Why can't this be love? Hunk versus Heather. Huh? Hunk versus Heather. Heather versus the Hunk. In fields of Heather, uh, mm-hmm. in Hawaiian mm-hmm. hunkiness, we could be seeing a, an all-time matchup here, Ken. What do you think? Um, I'm excited about this one. A little yeah. nervous. I think part of the game I'll be switching over there uh, oh. to the computer. Interesting. To give uh, Ikaika... Uh, the chance to do it. I, 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 Kaika, how are you feeling going into this matchup? I'm more ready than ever. I've been here for every single one on the oh. GPA. And how many uh, dragon nipples have you suckled on today? Me? Yeah. I'll tell you what. This functional white owl, the light point, 86 calories, yeah. functional white owl, it's only 3.7 alcohol by volume. I mean, you can really it's enjoy yourself all day with this. Uh, this is like water. I mean, you might as well drink it. And it's tasty, <laughs> it's delicious. Like, you're getting more hydrated than you are anything else. I could drink forty of these and be fine. I'm not. I'm not saying drink. I'm not saying do that. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm. I'm Let's so excited to hear what New Holland thought of my campaign here on Josh Brady. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. So this right here, in all seriousness, this is the Dragon's Milk Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout, 11 percent alcohol by volume. Now I don't drink a lot of stouts, but if you if listen, if you're giving me 11 percent alcohol by volume, this is fantastic because it doesn't taste like you know when you have those like those mm. barley wines, those mm-hmm. thick, thick thickness. Mm. Don't like. This yeah. is fantastic. Like All right. it. It's almost like a coffee like mm-hmm. taste to it a little bit. Mm. Yeah, but I kind of like it. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm not a big coffee person, but I like this too. I mean, it tastes like dragon's milk. Ken, you've had dragon's milk. I definitely have. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, every every uh, premiere of Game of Thrones, I pour a big old frothy mug of dragon's milk yeah, straight from do. a nipple. Straight from the dragon's nipple. And of course, everybody's favorite dragon's milk white. The barrel aged out white. It's a little well, less. Yeah. It's a little less strong. Yeah. But still the same amount of nipple. Yeah. That's what we want. Oh, Everyone good. wants it's the good. same it's amount good. of it's nipple. Good. It's, it's good. best when it's cold. Robbie Smith in chat says, baby update Josh. She's alive and she loves me. Uh, and that's, <laughs> that's that's as good as it's going to get. That's what you need. That's, that's as good. She, she's, with, she's been with mom all day as I've been over yeah. here trying to do things, trying to make things happen here at the Good People Association. We appreciate all of you. Thanks for being here for all week of every show. What? 
Every show all week. Come on, Ken. I, I've done, had like too take, many alcohols. Take it home. Know. You're doing uh, great. I'm fantastic. Uh, special thanks <laughs> spike, to Joe Prano and Matt. that football. Remember, remember when when Matt the Beard Man, if Matt the Beard Man's in chat, chime in here real quick. When Matt the Beard Man was like, I'm going to send you alcohol. And then I was like, yeah, we would get sponsored by him. He's like, they're not going to sponsor you guys now. That, he didn't like your, your job over there on the yeah, track. I think, I actually, I think he got fired. Oh, did he? During, during the show. During the show. Uh, I swear we're great people. You're all great people. Find the good this weekend. Catch up on some of the content. I implore you this weekend to do something nice for somebody. Text somebody, call somebody, give someone, just tell them you love them because it matters and it means something. And uh, we're just trying to spread the good and tell them, tell them that Josh sent you. Tell them that old Dragon Nipples sent you. We'll see you next week, Monday, uh, on the Positivity Report. We start the week off right. Mm. Until then, Ken, what do we do? Uh, say your catchphrase. It's not about the brains. It's about the answers. Find the good. We'll see you next week.